Okay, so we are starting the food stream with a cat that's in heat who's doing her mating calls. That's my cat, that's Strawberry. Um, so while I'm waiting for you guys to come in, I'm just actually gonna adjust some things on my live stream. And so if you weren't here for part one, uh, basically I got some midnight food a, in a very local neighborhood in Hong Kong and I got skewers. And um, because I'm not like a huge meat eater, so therefore I decided to get mainly uh, almost all veg, or actually no, it's all vegetarian this time. Uh, yeah, and it's highly affordable. It's like 16 bucks. Sorry, sorry guys and girls. That's my strawberry. Um, so yeah, she's... you're gonna hear that throughout the night. Sorry guys, sorry guys. So I came home and my tea is still here to extinguish the fire. In the fridge, I got some Korean rice tea. Hey, if you like, I'm dead. Yo, back. Chi. Yo, Michael. I look amazing. Thank you. Um, I'm back. Yes. And I change into something that's not white in case I dripped all over myself. And um, let me see. Let me see. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just adjust some of this. You know, uh, oh, 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 wow, Spartacus. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the, the, the cat in heat. Okay, wait, I'm gonna just do this right here. Cool. Okay, cool, we're all back. Well, kind of. So, I put everything on a plate. This looks a little bit, a little bit better, maybe. Maybe, just a little bit. Anyway, okay, um. So I thought I was, uh, I made a really good decision, cat hair, um, to eat the pepper first. And I couldn't tell if it was like spicy or it's because it's hot outside or if it's because of the spicy powder or if it's because it's of the spicy pepper. So I'm gonna try it again, but kind of scared. Hmm. I never say I did, I feel like I'm dead. I said that. You're Judy, who changed your name all the time. I said your name twice. Last dream, I said your name too. Mmm. 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 Grilled pepper is major guilty pleasure here in Southern California. Why is that? Is it aunties and uncles? Who do I consider it aunties and uncles? Hmm. Aunties and uncle is just a way for us to uh, call elders that we have respect for, but we don't know their name. So it's like a polite way of calling them. For example, if you go to your friend's house, you call the parents, aunties, uncles. <sighs> so spicy. Mm. Mm. Okay, that that pepper is really spicy. Mm. Mm hmm. Green tea to the rescue. Not cold enough anymore. Now I switch to this. Mm. This is the Korean rice drink. Frankly, it's not as good for extinguishing the fire. Ugh. Ugh. Compared to the green tea, how come there's such, such a huge difference? Mm. Mm. It's a respect thing. You call them aunties and uncles. Um, if it's like a, somebody that's like maybe like uh, somebody that's middle ages and up, you call them aunties, uncles. Somebody maybe roughly thirty and under, you call them tete koko, brothers, sisters. Mm -hmm. Spice keeps life worth living. Mm. 
Yes. Oh. Tissue time. Ah, so spicy. Ugh. You're gonna get, get on Twitch? Okay. Uh, oh, is there anything else not spicy right now? Why does everything feel spicy? Mmm. Mmm. That was a lot better. Mm. Oh, same thing in the Middle East. Oh. In Malaysia before notification? Oh, really? Oh, you, wow, really? Gee, you follow my channel? Since then, or have you just been watching that lately? Was a tiny girl? No, that's a cat toy. Mmm. Mmm. Super good. Ah. Uh, just really spicy. I think I'm gonna have a stroke. Go to your friend's house and you see their parents, of course it's uncles and aunties, right? Can't be Dede Coco, it would be like brother or sister. That'd be weird. Mm -hmm. Do I ever go grocery shopping? Of course. Mm -hmm. Spending too much time on YouTube. What's wrong with that? Uh, you guys, by the way, thanks for your super chats. And you guys who's on Patreon, thank you so much. Uh, since um, the, uh, um, what is it? The, the Dodo video, I think I got uh, one or two new uh, support on uh, um, from the subs. That's for Animal Rescue. Thank you, guys. Okay, this is really spicy. Uh, mm. I'm gonna go grab some little peppers here. Oh, so spicy, though. Mm. August 22nd. Hmm. It's a ping pong ball. Hmm. <sighs> Don't take you grocery shopping? I have. I have taken you guys before. The wet market. Hey, random person, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. Judy, you gotta stop having different names. Hmm. Patreon, it's um, a way that you make a small contribution um, one time every month to your um, creators to support whatever it is that they're doing, keep the channel alive. Mm. For me, it's keeping the channel alive and rescuing animals. So um, there's different levels for you to pledge just to show some support. Mm -hmm. The link to the Patreon is on the description of most, if not all, of my videos. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Um, I know, Kyle. Did you guys stop changing her names? Mm. They're so good. Hey, Michael. You guys, especially you guys that's in North America. You must try fresh shiitake mushrooms and a barbecue. It just absorbs. Um, I am not sure Patreon takes credit card. It takes a lot of payment types. Mm, that's a good question. Does it? Mm. Yep. 
I think it worked, yeah. Credit and debit card. Mm hmm Works. Because um, first, to keep the channel alive, and second, all the animals I come across um, in my regular save and rescue missions, rehoming animals, you know, because it's, it's, it's a lot of work, and it's actually a lot it accumulated over time. Out of pocket is just crazy. So thank you, you guys. And if you guys ever buy anything on um, Amazon, don't forget to use my Amazon link. Just empty empty your cart, click on the link, stay on the same browser, do your usual shopping, check out within 24 hours, rinse and repeat. Then Amazon just give me like a tiny little cut and I just use that uh, to for my animal rescue missions. Free money from them. It's free money from Amazon. So if you guys want to support my channel, Mm. No, thank you, Richard. Um, that's my life, actually. All the stuff that I do on my channel, um, I can do it until the day I die. Because I don't have to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Don't have to do something that isn't outside of my daily life. Um, well, it's just my hobby. Hmm. Thank you, Chi. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thanks for even considering it. Mmm. Shiitake? Oh, so good. And grilled tofu? Mmm. Go to the Chinese grocery store, get some different types of tofu. Tofu sheets, um, deep fried tofu. Um, there's just so many different types. And when you grill it, when you barbecue it, oh, it's amazing. Thanks, Rick. Um, I'm, for me, it comes very natural for me. I just can't leave animals, like, you know, unhelped. I've been, mm, I've been rehoming um, a lot of, you know, animals and helping pass a message, helping people find um, these older animals, find homes, because a lot of people are immigrating and they're not bringing their pets. This lady doesn't want her 13 year old cats. And um, finally, they're going to, they went to a new home yesterday. It's like an almost 10,000 square feet uh, office. They're becoming office cats. And there's two resident cats already, and they're getting along so well. So I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Hey, Danny from Manchester, England. Yeah, this is so good. This is so good. It's a thing of tofu with lots of air in the middle. See, this thing is actually really light. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I can eat this every day for the rest of my life. Mm. Thank you, Rick. Um, for me, I think it's just pretty normal. I can't walk by stuff like that. Like I said, us and animals, we all just tear this world together. We're not any better, we're just different, right? And just because I don't understand or I don't like something doesn't mean I have to get rid of them. I might not want to hang out with them, but I, just don't, I, I don't want to eradicate them. Hmm. Having pets can be very expensive, especially when they get older. So make sure that, you know, that's actually part of your, your plans. Mm. Mm. Now this is a different type of tofu. Much more firm. Hi, buddy. Hey, bye-bye. Mm. This one actually tastes like a meat. A little bit crispy, more tough on the surface, but inside, mmm, very yummy. Man City or United. You know, I've done so many events with Manchester United. I have so many of their souvenirs at home that I just ended up giving away. Signatures, t shirts, uh, footballs, badges with their um with their people signature on it
if you guys want it, you guys can take some of it. I mean, I gave a lot away, but there's still some. Hmm. I've interviewed a lot. Um, a lot of the, especially the legends from um, the 80s, the 90s, you know, 2000. I actually don't know much about about football, let alone, um, you know, Man U or Liverpool. I only know like a bit about them, but that's that's it. Not crazy hardcore fan. But thanks, wow, damn, Jersey, huh? Have I been out dancing? No, I have not been dancing. Where are the cats? Mm. One is right here. The bulge. Um, let's see who's in sight. Gold right here. And then who's on the floor? Uh, there's, there's a blue cat up there. She's been bullying Strawberry lately. So that's where they are right now. Um, they're just kind of chill. Oh, nice, thank you. Wow, why am I so different about today? Dominique, don't worry. Spicy dance while we. I did do a spicy dance. Yes, I did. I so did. I was like, yes, dance it off, dance it off. Cat uh, says, hi, hi. Hey. Really? Huh. See, Oliver watching it so you can mess. See, you know, Hong Kongers, a lot of uh, the girls, uh, we watch, we watch football. Uh, we call them football here. Um, just so that we see the hot uh, soccer stars. Mm. Mmm, fish chai. Mmm, so yum. Oh, these? They have a type of screw. Each peg is held up by um, anything from four to six screws. They're really long. <clears throat> and they actually go in and they have these little things that go sideways so they can kind of stay expanded inside the hole in a cement wall. Dealing with aggressive cats. You know what? I have yet to see see an, see an aggressive cat. Usually they're scared um, or in pain. Um, trust me, there's way more uh, aggressive humans than aggressive animals. Animals are quite simple. Usually they're aggressive for a reason. Try to see what it is for Sir Carlos. It's because his anxiety is always high. That's as bad as it's ever been for any cats I've ever encountered. Um, some cats are, are scared, or they have a, a uh, they're they're just in pain, so they appear to be aggressive, but really they just don't want you to touch them because when you do, they're not comfortable. Mm. Caught football ninja, yeah. We caught did the skewers cost? Not a whole box of skewers. I got a uh, hundred. 116 Hong Kong dollars. So that's about 15, 16. There's a fruit fly that's flying around. Um, 15, 16 US dollars, I think. Mm. Only evil humans. Like my best friend, I was showing her uh, the video of the, one of the shorts that I was playing with the cat and I go, yo, 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 yo. And she's like, that's so scary. I'm like, why? It's like the cat looks so looks so aggressive. I was like, really? Your cats do I as I, I say, like sometimes if we just spend the time and just be in their shoes and see what it is that's troubling them, it's actually not that hard to find out. I always think the analogy is true. It's like how, um, how would people say, oh, it's like, oh, there's a crazy cat. It's like people who keep saying that they have this crazy ex, guys or girls. It's like when all of them are crazy, I start to, if there's a person that says all his or all her exes are crazy, I start to think maybe he or she's a crazy one. So 
I think the logic is kind of, according to my logic, I think um, it's kind of the same with people who say cats are crazy or dogs are crazy. Mm. People, I think humans are just so self-centered. I hate to say it. We think everything in this world have to fit into our human molds. And anything that deviates from it is either wrong or bad. It's kind of sad. As you can, as you can tell, I hate humans. <gasps> mm. I only like a small subset of humans. Mm. Only veggies, no rice. Um, that place doesn't sell rice. Mm. I prefer animals, any animals. Mm. Did someone almost fall from above? Who's that? Hi, Sparry Cat. Hey, Sparry Cat. Looking good. Buddy's right there. Hey, buddy. Hey, Ding Ding. Oh, Ding Ding's right here. <gasps> we have Ding Ding in the house. Hi, Ding Ding. Hi, Ding Ding. Doing good. Getting more confident. <laughs> You're getting more confident. Oh, look at her. She's so confident right now. Some humans are okay. Yeah, some are okay. That's why I said I, I like a small subset of humans. But I like all animals. Can't say I can't say the same for humans. You guys are cool. Don't worry. You guys pass the test. You guys are part of the small subset. <clears throat> Mm. Mm, they're very happy. Mm. I know Ding Ding, she's, she's, she's getting quite confident lately. I noticed that she had no problem um, being around me. Cookie Boy, ask any female how old they are and you will get killed. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but you don't do that to girls. Do not ask a female how old they are. Once they're over the age of like three. I think the next time you can ask is after like, I don't know, 80? Hmm. Ding Ding fan here. Woohoo. She's so calm. I know. In all honesty, her previous owners are bad people. Um, the first one, I, I don't know. But the, her previous owners aren't bad. They just mislabeled her. Mm. No, I think Cookie Boy's just being curious. But... I think someone asked before too. That's always that's always the question, right? I will tell you after I turn 80, then I'll be super proud. I'll be like 80. Well, speaking about age, we're the oldest we'll ever be for this given moment and the youngest we could ever be at this moment. <laughs> actually, there's other there's other questions that I don't answer actually. Along with that. Mm. These chives are so good! Mm, hey, BM. How many cats do I have? Mm, nine. Mm, the Visology? Yeah. Mm.
Not as right, as good as we'll ever be today. Mm hmm. Mm. Cumin is the secret spice that makes these skewers so delicious. Is it cumin? Oh, I didn't know that. Mmm. I mean, truffle for afters. Mm, not a big truffle fan. Mmm. Did I pick up my new saps from Dodo? Mmm. Mmm. More on Instagram. I think I got about 600 or 700 more subs. Um, YouTube, probably about 200. Mmm. You rescued six cats. Good job. Good job. I look like I'm 25. Can I be 25 every year? Ah, oh, this is so yummy. Mmm. MSG. Mmm. Bring it on. Mmm. No, just a small following. I'm, I grow my followers quite organically since 2017 when my channel started. Because I don't do clickbaity stuff, don't make, you know, fake content, which gets a lot of views. So I, but, so my channels like mine actually grow very slowly. Because mm. let's face it, my content is actually not like sensation, not sensationalized content. Um, what you see is really what you get. Sometimes it's just like me walking down the streets of Hong Kong. Mmm, garlic. Mm. Oh, this is so good. How many of you guys actually drank this before? Mmm. Mmm. So young. Mm. Wow, I almost ate everything, you guys. Where is the peppers? Mmm. We would? Let's see. That drink is a Korean rice drink. Mmm. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Ding ding's right there. Hey, Danae. Cat mingling time. Hi, Gaga. Hi, Gaga. It's biscuits. T O oh, is the red one, right? Is that a drink called? It's actually like a fermented rice drink. Uh, I'll, wait, I'll show you in a bit. Mui Mui Hi Mui 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 Cats have more views than celebrities? Yeah And cats are more real Celebrities, a lot of them are quite nice And in real life they're like total dicks And uh Cats? Mm -hmm. If they're dicks, well, in real in reality, they're still dicks. No, they're true to themselves. God, okay, me. She's your fave, really? Me, 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 me. She lost a little bit of weight lately. Still got a bit of a pooch, but she's doing good. Uh, the cat with the bad tail? Burrito? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He got better. Um, let's see. I've been in this apartment for this is my third year. He's recovered for a year and a half already. Hi, Ding Ding. Doing good. Ding Ding, you're doing so good. You know that, Ding Ding? 
Thanks for asking. Hi, Ding Ding. Ding Ding. I just learned that Ding Ding's a snowshoe cat. Snowshoe cat is kind of like the same breed as a uh, grumpy cat, right? Okay, wait. I think I hear cat bullying. Oh, no. It's Buddy and Sir Carlos. Do I hear fighting? Corn-based tea. Oh, yeah. The corn-based, the corn tessel tea. So good. Ding Ding winked right there. Is in my room. Oh, hi. Hi, Strawberry. Are you posing again? Yeah? Are you posing? Yeah? Yeah? There's a guy who's from streets and tours in Tokyo. Really? Aww. Strawberries. Strawberries. It's strawberries, babe. Look at it. I got a cushion and it's like a bag of cats. Hey. Hi, strawberry. I'm I, 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 I. Oh, you're in love with Strawberry. Strawberry's gonna get spayed at the end of the month. She's in heat right now. I know. I know, my girl. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Come on, let mommy pet, pet you a little bit. Come to mommy. Uh, none of my cats had kittens. No, I basically, uh, my cats are like rescued and were adopted. They're ex street cats. She is. She is a gorgeous cat. Oh, that's the boyfriend at the back. Hey, buddy. Are you on your neighborhood watch tonight again? Buddy have been watching out of my, my window very attentively at night. Oh, by the way, these are the things that hold my curtains together when I when I uh, when I pull it to one side, and when I'm not using it, I'm hanging it there. For university educated, um, I have a master's degree in psychology, but I didn't become a psychologist. Thank you. I'm a professional professional what cat mom. Yeah, but uh, Strawberry's liver finally improved after the supplements for quite a few months, and she's ready to uh, to uh, go through the spaying process because before the liver was bad, and they said not good to go to use anesthesia because uh, her liver can't handle it. There's a chance she'll never get up. Um, it's not it's not just being quiet, but I always got golden showered on quite a few times because she was like peeing on the hammock up there and. Thank God I wasn't standing underneath. <laughs> Clarity Crystal, haha. Is Joe Frey safe? Yeah, Hong Kong is very safe. Our crime rate is like t almost like zero. Uh, what was my first cat? My first cat was a kitty. Long time ago, when I was like 14, 15. You think I'm a cat psychologist? <laughs> Uh, cat mom. Let's see. Oh. Diagnosis cat, you're too cute. Your cats and me have both fostered. Foster is great. Professional cat mom. Cool job, I know. Treatment. More catnip and meat tubes. Hi, Coco. Coco. Coco, did you miss mommy today? Got something in your eye. Can I pick it out? Got some gunk in your eye. Oy, 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 oy. There's a, some eye gunk. Yick. Yick. Yick, 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 yick. Eye gunk. Eye gunk. Here. All right. Yeah. K 
cat moms are the best type of moms. Or not just cats, but animal parents. I actually had the conversation with my mom before. Um, so I asked her, I was like, um, uh, I asked her, right? I was like, hey, mom, do you think you like children? She's like, oh, of course I love children. I'm like, do you like other people's children? She's like, hell no. Oh my like, do you play with other people's kids? She's like, no. I'm like, then what kids do you like? She's like, I only like mine. I'm like, then you're just selfish. You just like your own spawn. That's the that's conversation I had with my, with my mom. And then my mom's like, yeah, what about you? I'm like, I like all kids, just not human kids. I like all kids, even slugs, worms, butterflies, bees, ants, cockroaches, cats, dogs, you name it, unconditionally. I will take them and raise them, well, not cockroaches eh, or spiders, and I'll raise them as if they're my own, if required. Um, but can you do the same for other people's children? She's like, I don't know. I'm like, ha, in conclusion, I like kids more than you. <laughs> My mom doesn't really have a, re a rebuttal for that. She still hates me for saying it. Um, any cats related? Yeah, Coco and Mimi's related. Brothers and sisters. Coco means older brother. Mimi means younger sisters. Three orange cats. Triplets. Yeah. Have an old sheep dog. Oh, nice. Huh. Cut moment is clam. Mm. Kids are adorable. Mm, they are. Just, just stay where they are. It's fine. I'm actually I'm okay with kids, just not babies. When they scream, I'm like, Ugh. Mm. rats are not your friend. Mm. Just don't hang out with them. They can stay where they are. You can stay where you are. A lot of people are more cool about it. <laughs> Human kids are horrible, selfish monsters. <laughs> Mm. I've never liked kids even since when I was a kid I told my mom I was like what's this with kids it's like they stink and she's like you're a kid too I'm like I will grow up I'm not gonna be a kid one day and she's like so are these kids I'm like I don't care mm. you like being an uncle that's it mm -hmm. What made me want to rescue cats? Not just cats, animals, even bugs. Um, it's always been in me since I could remember. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned in my previous stream, I think all of us, us and animals and nature, we just share this world together and we're no better than you know any other species, despite the fact that humans always think that we're better, but I don't think we are. Um, we just share the world so just just like being a fellow citizen just help other people out right when called for um <laughs> and those are worse than kids mm. This is so good. Mmm. I'm finishing off my food, except for those two really spicy peppers, which I will never order again. My mom said since I was like such a small child, even when I was in my stroller, so I'm guessing under one year old, she said she knew that I loved animals, especially cats, because we would go by people's shops and she would find that I actually grabbed somebody's cat to pull into my baby buggy. Superhero for animals. Woo! Actually, that's pretty good. Mm. Bad kids, good kids. Bad humans, good humans. Agreed. Mm. Oh, I've, I've rescued bugs too. Beetles. Dragonflies. Oh, when it comes to parasites, I think we're the parasites of this world. Despite a lot of human things that we're, well, think that we're so incredible, we can make planes and cars, but really our existence isn't really doing this world any better. We're just 
we're just like nasty tourists that go around and just destroy things. Shikaye? Paido? Paido brand. Aha! Yep. I don't know how to pronounce this though. You have the, a bee resting zone? Oh my god, I still want to see that. What's that like? Could you put a GoPro there and just kind of see what they're up to? Oh, that'd be super cool. I'm just listening to them checking in. I, I saw this one video many years ago. It was about these bees that got drunk and they're trying to make it back to the nest and there's these bouncer bees that's trying to push them back out and the guy got so drunk stealing like the the campers or whatever uh the spear or alcohol whatever and they got so drunk they're trying to go back into the nest and then they tried a few times they got pushed out a few times and at the end these bouncer bees actually clipped off their wings it's like whoa <laughs> that's harsh hmm this is good we're mold on a piece of bread, Joe Rogan. <laughs> it's pretty good. So don't worry, I'm not alone. Yeah, that's true. Oh Tini, do you want to play? You want me to play fetch with you? Tini, you want to play this? Tini, come on. Yeah? She sometimes does that because she wants me to play with her. Are you going to bring that back? Yeah? Having so much fun with it. Learning uh, Hangul? <laughs> Actually, there's uh, there's these rap that I heard online that teaches how to pronounce Hangul for kids. You are a very horrible kid. I was just hyperactive. I just couldn't sit still. What is it? Uh, there was a, a, a video that I watched on George Carlin, one of my favorite uh, stand-up comedians of all times. And he had, I think, was it this video that he had on child worshiping? <laughs> it's so funny. Like he said, uh, the parents keep telling their kids they're special, they're great, they're beautiful, they're awesome. It's like statistically speaking, if that's true, then what happened in between that caused these adults to be mediocre because the proportion is not the same as they grew up. So if all kids are special, unique, incredible, beautiful, smart, blah, 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 that's 100%. But then as they get to adulthood, most people you see are not like that. So what happened? I thought that's so funny. Um, see, post, really? Post something on Discord? I'll look at it later. Ding, ding, she's loving it. Oh, yeah. So I mess up in the world yet. People are uh, are wasting their time hating on kids and other things that you should. That they shouldn't be was their time on. Mm. I think ah, it's just like anything. Opinions are like assholes, right? Everyone's entitled to one. No explanation needed. Uh, there's no one thing in this world that is that is uh, commonly uh, or all people agree on that is good or bad, liked or disliked. So, um, what is that that I'm drinking? That is the Korean tea. Does anyone read Korean? I don't know uh, what this is, but yes, it's the Paldo brand. This is so good. Oh, George Carlin, I love him. If that guy was alive, oh, I would so go see his live. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna put this away just for before the cats knock anything over. Hmm. 
Let's see. Uh, did your cats fight if there was a new cat? Mm -mm. Nope. Actually, my cats aren't really good fighters. <laughs> Fish didn't even look bothered. Nope, not bothered. Tastes like Red Bull. Doesn't it taste like a sweet tea? Hmm. Hi. Ding day. Okay. Let me. Let me see if I can actually show you some of this cat greatness that I'm seeing right now. Mm. I'm so full right now. Hi. Hey, kitties. For fish and chips? Really? Fish and chips? Me. Oh, this girl's so in heat. Look at I'm petting her. And she's turning into like a flatbread cat. Flatbread cat. Flatbread cat. Was it there's a vet in Vancouver and he always says squish the cat. Squish the cat. Squish the cat. That's a doctor. Gurry Briston, is that his name? Um, he has a cat named Pyre, Mr. Pyre. You know, he a squished a cat and a squished a subscribe button. So cute. I know, George Carlin, I love that guy so much. I always think people like him, if he ever goes to heaven or hell, you know, um, he's probably gonna be telling jokes there as well. Yeah, yeah. I know, lie. You're so in heat. You're so in heat. I know, la. You're so in heat. You're so in heat. Yeah, I follow Dr. Yuri. Yeah, I love, I, I watch his stuff all the time. Such an awesome person. We need more people like that. Turning into different bread slices. Yeah. Flat bread cat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kit, um, kitten lady? You mean kitten X lady, Hannah Shaw? I follow her too. And the one kid who turned out excellent. <laughs> Thank you. I tell my mom that. In the Asian community, I'm not so sure. I'm not good at math. My academics weren't good. <laughs> Can't sit still. Not so sure about that. Aww. Michelle. Claudia and Mr. Pirate. Strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, extra attention for the cat in heat. Squish the cat. According to Dr. Yuri, squish the cat. Squish the cat. Oh, ding, ding, come in. Wait. Cats are liquid. Confirmed, yes. They take up the space of the container that they're in, take up that that form. Yes. Okay, I guess she's not into that. What's the name? Can you please know? Well, the one that you just looked at, that strawberry. 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 The white one was Ding Ding. That's Ding Ding. The pseudo aggressive cat. Strawberry, strawberry. Belly rub. See, before she had an ultrasound, she had to shave her belly for kind of grow back now a little bit. People say I look like her. Does mommy look like you? Does mommy look like you? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's see. Don't watch it with comedians and I like, like Jack D. Don't know who that is. Time to read novels. Um, I have a Kindle. I, I don't really read novels. It's usually um, self uh, self help, like the how to books and stuff. Get a cat vet Bible. Strawberry. I know she's super cute. She's super cute. Do we have any Mui Mui fans here? Mui Mui. Mui Mui. Mui Mui. She's like, Mom, you're 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 just being silly now. Is there a fruit fly here? Where'd that fruit fly come from? You don't see you don't see fruit flies or flies in my house. They don't survive very long. How did this one get in here? Your ears are always standing high? Mm, I think so, yeah. Warrior cats? No, but what's it about? Orange tabby, see? From Mui Mui, right? She's actually got like an orange arm and an orange leg. It's really weird. Um, it's just like sisters, brothers and sisters with Coco, but Coco doesn't have orange. So I, I have a feeling they, they have a different father. Mui Mui. Me, 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 me. I have four orange cats at home and they probably think, oh, maybe Mui Mui is their half sister. You see how Mui Mui have like a, an orange stripe right here? I got nine cats. Nine cats. Mm. Actually, uh, um, since the Dodo video, um, some companies actually reach out to me and ask me to review uh, some cat products. Um, you know, some good ones, I'll review it. Mm, yeah, and I, I told them I'm not like, I don't, I don't wanna get paid for it. I don't wanna endorse anything. I don't wanna get a cut of your sales or anything. I just, if, if you're just sending me a piece of product to review, sure, I'll, I'll review it. Yeah, then I'll probably start a playlist of just me reviewing stuff. Because that way I think, um, I don't like you know I can I can actually say whatever I want how I feel about that product uh, without getting paid to actually like sugar it up. Not allowed to have them in your apartment. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hong Kong's really hot, so it's not like I can actually go out any time um, and do my you know um, and do my uh, walk video. It's really hot. See that strawberry right now? She's pooing. And she likes to stand up while she does her business. I think she learned it from Burrito. Oh, she is doing so great. My cats are influencers. They're influencing me every day. Right? Do you like to do you like to poo poo? Do you like to stand up and poo poo? Is that what you did? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, come on, let mommy take care of it. Here, mommy will take care of it. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Inspecting, is there any soft poo poo? No. Good. Have a nice poo. All right. It's good. Yep, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I told them I don't, I don't want to get paid for it. I don't want to get a cut of it. I don't want to... Um, I, I don't I just don't want to be affiliated in that way, but I don't mind reviewing it if all you want is an honest review of uh, of the item. Sure. Bite the bite the. This is the burrito with the heel tail. This is his nummy tail right now. Is he part of it? This this uh, the fur never grew back. This is bite the. This is a buddy million dollar tail. Um, actually, the funny thing is, right, I scoop so often at home, and uh, the choice of litter is very good, so no, the house doesn't smell like anything. Even my friends with very sensitive nose, they're like, your house doesn't smell like anything. Yeah. Hi. Hey, strawberry. 
yeah, honest reviews. I yeah, that's why I don't want to be, um, you know, uh, I don't want to be incentivized so that I have to say good things about them. No. So if I don't take a paycheck from them, I don't get a cut. Then that way is good, right? So I can just say whatever the heck I want. What happened to his tail? Um, suspected dog attack when I found him at about ten days old. Yeah, you know, took a year. Um, for me to save this much of his tail so that doesn't get chopped all of it because um, the closer you chop to the, the base um, uh, the more likely you're going to get into severe nerve damage well you can always consider turning your apartment into a vertical apartment <laughs> I love it They'll love it. Okay. I'm gonna go visit that bulge up there. Cat bulge. Hi. Who do we have here? Hey, Sparty Cat. That's my big guy. Chicken, though. Big guy. All right. By the way, I'm gonna wrap up my night by showing you guys the sign that I have. This is, I got this from uh, Amazon. <laughs> So cute. Love it. That's how I feel. And all of these happen to use like a black cat, so I don't know why. All right, you guys. Um, thanks for being on both of my uh, live streams. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, street tour and uh, my little food tour as well. Uh, okay. So we're just going to call it a night. All right, so you guys. Have a good one. Um, thanks for coming again. Um, yeah, have a good weekend. Stay safe. Uh, do something good for yourself this weekend. Go pet that cat. Next time you see a cat, go pet him. That's about it. All right. See you guys. Meow.